In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a bunch of new and useful Blender add-ons that will help you improve your workflow, ranging from grease pencil, modeling, physics, animation, and even large libraries. So I'm pretty sure you will find something interesting in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First up, we have a really interesting add-on that many of you could use to get that beautiful painting effect using the grease pencil. In fact, I would consider it a game changer type of add-on when using the grease pencil. If you've used Blender version 4.0, you have probably seen the beautiful stylized splash screen. Well, this render was made with a deep paint add-on, which is a user-friendly toolset for modeling and painting in 3D using grease pencil to create stunning and stylized illustrations. From what I can see, this add-on offers multiple ways to draw onto your scene for instance, the GP2 mesh feature allows for quick building of meshes from grease pencil strokes, easily converting them into curves, field meshes, or line meshes. It also comes with custom grease pencil brushes, accessible in a pop-up window for ease of use. Also, you can apply default deep paint materials with the DPM and outline buttons, providing vertex paint based stylized shaders and easy outlining options that you can play around with. In addition, the add-on includes custom texture paint brushes like watercolor, pastel, and airbrush, allowing for various painting styles. But I'm not done yet, because the add-on also includes material preset options like noise texture mixed with vertex masks, edge blur, and shadow-only materials so that you will never worry about UVs again. And finally, the add-on comes with a utility section that offers tools like TreeGen and VineGen to populate your scene with natural assets such as trees and flowers. And still with the topic of natural assets and scenes, we have a new add-on called Naturescapes, which is a procedural biome generator that enables you to create realistic natural scenes in no time. And from what I can see, it requires zero to no effort at all. So with natural scapes, you can create complex ecosystems in just around 10 minutes. And as you can see in the video, what it can create looks beautiful. What I find really useful about this generator is that it packs a bunch of features that are designed to make your life easier so that you can just start with sand at lower elevations and automatically generate rocky slopes and cliffs as you go. Also, this is not just a one-trick pony because it comes with multiple biomes and presets for generating all sorts of different forests like a swamp, snowy forest, tropical forests, and so much more. And to make it even better, your generated forests come with water bodies that have advanced water materials supporting ripples and rain splashes. And I can go on to tell you all about the other features like drawing roads, dynamic materials, custom painting tools for each biome, and so much more. Now, away from nature and natural assets, we have a new add-on called Hologram Effects. This add-on is designed for adding awesome holographic effects, especially in your sci-fi scenes. And the add-on comes with procedural holographic assets and templates that can enable you to create characters, objects, and UI elements without requiring any geometry node knowledge, which I know many of you don't want to get into, or you don't have the time to do that. One cool feature of this tool is procedural control, because it allows you to tweak the different parameters of your holographic effect, such as glowing color, strength, and transparency, as well as camera effects with easy-to-use sliders, and so much more. Now, for UI elements, this add-on offers a range of 2D and 3D UI elements, from holographic buttons to dynamic text display and health bars, so it really has a lot of things that you can ask for. And of course, I can't forget to mention the large library of custom holographic assets like planets and landscapes, which are fully procedural by the way. So if you are interested in the add-on, it's absolutely affordable with a free version in addition to the full version with only 5 bucks at the moment. Now let's talk about something a little bit more interesting because we're gonna dive into simulations with a new add-on called Sketch and Simulate from a popular developer of add-ons such as Sketch and Carve. You can expect to set up rigid body, soft body, and class simulations even for complex scenes which can be a bit annoying to do manually. So first things first, Sketch and Simulate works by automatically separating all those loose parts of your objects like a brick wall, 
before assigning physics properties and running the simulation properly. Also, the add-on assigns physical properties with the correct mass automatically based on the size and the volume of your objects, so you won't have to worry about adjusting the weights manually, which has personally saved me lots of time. Finally, what really stands out about the add-on is that it sets up the entire simulation and the environment for you, which is the entire reason behind its existence. And this goes hand in hand with other add-ons that the developer offers like the Intelligent Wear and Tear and Sketch and Carve, which all share the same goal of making Blender's workflow a lot easier and simpler to dive into. Now away from simulations, let's go to something different like texturing, with a new add-on called EasyCast, which simply allows you to add stickers and decals to your complex or simple material setups. And what I like about the add-on is how easy it is to set up, also to use. All you have to do is add the controller and plug it into your material. Now simply select any custom image that you can use as your sticker, or you can choose to use the variety of images which are included with the add-on itself, and you should be all set. But to make it even better, the nodes that come with the add-on are fully customizable, enable you to adjust wear, scale, intensity, sharpness, detail, roughness, color, and more. And to take it a step further, you can easily layer multiple and different stickers onto one another. And I also forgot to tell you that you can fully move and adjust any specific sticker using the controller that appears in your viewport, which is really great. Last but not least, we have a new add-on called Locomotion Add-on. And this one works by enabling you to add all sorts of entities and particle systems to your Blender files. On the surface, it features seven preset systems for animating entities along paths and surfaces. And of course, it uses geometry nodes, which ensure smooth and endlessly looping animations. And since it is powered by geometry nodes, it comes with a lot of customization settings that can be found in the modifiers tab. Now, let me give you a little sneak peek on the different types of presets that this add-on offers. Firstly, you have the Crowd on Surface preset, which lets your characters move randomly across surfaces, creating realistic crowd effects. And for a more organic look, the Insect on the Path preset lets you create swarms of insects following custom paths. Another preset worth mentioning is Birds on a Path, which animates birds flying in custom random patterns. And staying on the same topic, there is a preset for adding flying insects around an object, which is an interesting system to play around with. And finally, you can even add your own custom models to move along the path, like airplanes or missiles, which can lead to custom results and interesting looking animations. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these new add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.